Hi, I'm Jason Putnam Gordon, and today we're going to be talking about venture rounds. Now, for startups, you've probably heard about venture rounds since the beginning. Okay, a venture round obviously is when a venture uh, capital company comes in, maybe some venture-backed investors, they want to put money into your company, serious money into your company. It is not an end in and of itself. I can't tell you how many times I've had entrepreneurs call me up. You know, they only they only need a few hundred thousand dollars in order to grow their business and they tell me they want to raise venture capital. That's not the right fit. We're talking about companies that need to have millions of dollars of investment in order to build themselves out, in order to scale up. That's adding people, adding technology, adding infrastructure. That is who this video is for. Now, for venture rounds, whether they're an A round, B round, C round, D round, etc., there are a number of key terms that are at play. First and foremost is valuation. How much is the company worth before the money goes in? How much is the money worth after the company goes in? And when you take a look at that, that's basically what indicates how much of your company you're going to be giving away at that particular round. Now, additionally, what's, what's going on there and why venture rounds are very legal intensive as well as time intensive is that there are going to be representations and warranties that you'll make to your investors. Those are basically statements of fact that, you know, X is true, Y is true, and Z is true. And then they'll have the opportunity to do due diligence and to go in and take out, to check out your legal documents, check out the other, um, you know, the premises and the technology itself. Maybe you have code. Okay, maybe they have that code analyzed by a third party to make sure that you don't have, uh, uh, you don't have the wrong kinds of open source code issues in there, okay, which can be a real issue. We'll probably do a video on that in and of itself at some later point. Um, the other terms that are at play, whether or not there'll be a board seat or how many board seats for your venture investors, okay, what anti-dilution protections they're going to receive, um, what uh, voting rights and repurchase rights they will have, whether or not they'll have any veto power on, on uh, other equity issuances and other uh, M&A activity, mergers and, and acquisition activities when you go to sell your company. So those are some of the key terms that are involved in, in a venture round. Now, in getting those terms in and integrated into the actual deal itself, there are a few documents that you'll be working with. Okay, first and foremost is a term sheet. Term sheet, LOI, that is letter of intent, kind of synonymous. They have the material terms of the, of the deal in there. When I say material, I mean the, the essence or the terms that are, if they're not hammered out now or at least raised, it means the deal won't go forward. Okay, valuation is obviously going to be one of them. Those are some of the major terms that are at play. And those terms need to get integrated into the actual deal itself. And how they do that, there are a few documents that could generate it. Okay. First, at the beginning, you're going to have the term sheet, or maybe it's called a letter of intent, depends on the situation. And that's going to contain the material terms of the deal, right? That's going to include valuation. You know, it's going to address any of the major terms that if they're not ironed out now, or at least raised now, the deal is just not going to move forward. Now, if you can come come together on the term sheet, okay, then you're going to need to uh, you're going to need to amend and restate your certificate of incorporation. And the reason for that is a number of the rights that you will have um, negotiated with the investors. So, let's say, for example, um, liquidation preferences. Those are need to get those are going to need to be put into the certificate of incorporation. So that's going to have to happen. There will be a preferred stock purchase agreement. Okay, that's going to involve the actual sale of the stock itself. Okay, there will be investor rights agreement. That's going to set forth the rights that the investors are going to have in in your company moving forward. And there may also be, along with that, uh, voting agreement and uh, co-sale and rights of first refusal. With the you know the idea being, if your company is going to get sold or someone's going to sell a portion of your company, the other investors who put their money in are also going to want to have access to that liquidity, access to that cash. Okay, why is that, you may ask? Well, because for these companies, these are private companies. Generally, there's, there's no liquid market. It's not like there's the stock exchange where they're listed on that. And so investors invest in your company to make money, and this is so that they can be able to cash out and make money for their portfolio um, for their fund. And there you have it. Some of the nuts and bolts of a venture background. We love working with companies who are about to raise venture capital financing. If you think we might be a good fit, please reach out shoot me an email, give me a call, and be sure to check out the rest of my videos. Thank you.